Honey Strong, Honey Strong, we back in the building, ladies and gentlemen. I got a couple of short stories that I want to tell y'all. It's been hitting the internet, and I decided to bring it to y'all, and I want y'all to hit that comment section and let me know how y'all feel about each and every last story. All right, first up, man, Um, the internet was going crazy today, man. All through Instagram, people were reporting that Big Meech, man, the one and only Big Meech from BMF, he was finally free. I went searching just to find more information about this whole entire situation. Because if you know Big Meech like I know Big Meech, you already know my man probably left the feds in a goddamn helicopter. He probably flew off, probably 15 Bentleys then pulled up for my mans, you know, because he's been making money even though he's been in jail for all of these years. Now, it won't surprise me. That if Big Meech ain't got 10 or 15 buildings and then you just start breaking down the walls in those buildings and this money just all in those buildings just here, man. I, I can almost guarantee y'all Big Meech sitting on a fat lump sum when he do get out. And plus, 50 Cent been making his whole life story a must-see in the black community. So you already know Big Meech was going to be going crazy if he did get out. Now, it was some strippers just all on the internet talking about Big Meech. When is the party? Let me know. I want to be there. I want to dance for free because they already know the big dog niggas going to be up in the building if Big Meech get out, man, and he have his party. Some big dogs going to be in the building dropping thousands on the floor for the strippers. All right, so come to find out that story might not be that true. A spokesperson for the correctional facility said that Big Meech was moved to a low security, or should we call it a, a halfway house or whatever, moved to low security. That was it, man. But he still get out January 2026 for those people that want to know when Big Meech is getting out. That's when he getting out. All right, man, moving on. J.H.E. Ruger and Adam 22, man, they had a clash in the studio. And a lot of people feel like Ruger got played. And to me, I'm going to tell y'all the truth. Ruger did get played by Adam 22. Adam was just saying, hey, man, I'm richer than you. You a bum nigga, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, when it comes to situations like this, Adam, you might got to move a little bit better. You might got to think, man. They might not hurt you. But what if they start hurting people that's coming to your studio? What if motherfuckers start banding together to say, hey, if you go on Adam 22 show, you ain't allowed in our city. Or if you go on Adam 22 show, we're not going to bring you on other shows. You never know what black people can do, man. When we put our mind to it, we can do it, man. I really ain't like the way that Adam was screaming that. He had all this money and Ruga was broke, basically. All Ruga wanted to do was straighten him out when it came down to him talking shit about Mama Doug, FBG, Wooski, and all the things that Adam has been doing over the years. Adam, just take that as a little bit of creative criticism. You don't have to jump up here and start ranting. That's exactly what you do when you pick up your phone and you start talking about situations. You ranting, man. You ain't you ain't thinking. You ain't giving somebody else uh, room to speak or anything. You're a little bit above that. Y'all got to remember, Adam22 started this channel out talking about motorcycles and X games and skateboarding and all that type of shit, bro. And he wasn't getting no traction until he started interviewing rappers man started getting into the realm of vlad tv cutting into vlad's pockets just a little bit but you got to remember where you came from i done seen a lot of youtubers fall off bro and i'm pretty sure you're not bigger than the machine so you could fuck around and find out bro that's all i'm gonna say with that but as far as everybody saying that adam was checking Ruga. I don't know, man. Adam was scared. Adam was saying, I ain't no boxer. What I look like boxing you? Ruga just wanted to fight. Put the gloves on. Y'all can do a little friendly little bout. But Adam, no, I ain't no boxer. I wish Ruga would have just smacked the shit out of Adam so he could have called the police and sued him and all of that shit that he was screaming about Mama Duck. Don't get mad at Mama Duck because she's the first one to say, hey, I'm finna sue somebody for the death of my son. Other motherfuckers need to recognize peep game and hopefully they'll start suing record companies as well all right moving on man i did a story the other day 
about Trap LaRoss, the YouTuber Trap LaRoss, who be making all them crazy ass documentaries, man. Shout out to Trap, man. He really out here doing his thing with his little Harry Potter looking ass, bro. But the reason why I made the video is because it appeared that Chicago Savage, Taste Savage, was checking my man. Come to find out, it was a skit, and Tay Savage and Trap LaRoss are coming together to do an interview. Now, what does that mean, Adam22? What does it mean? It means you got another white person finna step into your realm of interviewing blacks. That's exactly what it means. That's what I'm saying. You never know what could happen. One day you on top, the next day you might be on the bottom doing pornos with your wife. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have to say. So let me know how y'all feel about each and every one of these stories that I just brought to y'all. And I'll be back later with more news and commentary. Peace.